Okay, this is chapter two, lesson two. And again, our essential question is what strategies can I use to add or subtract? And we're gonna talk more about the addition and subtraction patterns, but we're going to do some different patterns today. So example one, on Friday, 1,323 people saw the new movie at a local theater. On Saturday, 1,000 more people saw the new movie. On Sunday, 100 less people saw the movie than on Saturday. How many people saw the movie each day? Okay, first let me highlight the information in the problem. Friday, 1,323. Saturday, 100 more people saw. So I wanna highlight that more because that's a key word that tells us what kind of math we're gonna do. Sunday, 100 less. And again, I wanna highlight the word less. It tells me what kind of math I'm going to do. So those are the key pieces of information. And the question that I need to answer is how many people saw the movie each day? Okay, they have us cutting out strips of paper, but I can't show that on the screen, so I'm gonna show you some highlighting. And we wanna set up this first number, 1,323, because that's where everything starts. So 1,300s, two tens for 20, and three ones. Okay, so there's our original number, 1,323, 1,323. Okay. Now, in order to show these changes, we're going to show some different um, things on this um, place value chart, which is basically what this is. Slide the paper up one row in the thousands column to show the number of people who saw the movie on Saturday. So we're just going to highlight one more row because it says on Saturday 1,000 more people saw. Okay, So we've got 1,000 more people, and I'm changing the color to show that it's a different day. So now on Saturday, we have, let's show it in red. Instead of having 1,000, we have 2,000 people. And the rest of the numbers didn't change because we were only changing one place value. We we're only changing the thousands place. So we've still got 323. Three hundred twenty three. Okay, now we need to show Sunday. So, according to our problem, on Sunday, one hundred less people saw the movie. So, less is a different operation, less is taking away. So I'm going to take away one of the hundreds. Now I've got still my 2,000 because it said in the problem 100 less than on Saturday. So I've still got 2,000, but instead of having 300, I now only have 200. So I have 2,000. 223. 223. Okay, so that's how we can use this number chart to um, solve these equations that just involve one place value. And I'm guessing somebody is going to say, oh my goodness, why do I have to do it this way? Why can't I just write out, let's change our color here, why can't I just write out a simple equation, 323, and then just add 1,000? And yes, you can do that, and that will get you the right answer. But here's why the book did not ask you to do that. 
they did some studies and they found, they asked people who can solve these equations in their head. And that's their real goal, is to get people to be able to solve these kinds of equations quickly in your head. And they found that people who were able to do this quickly were not doing their math in their head this way. They were doing their math in their head this way. And I wanted to try and give you a better visualization. So I made a drop-down menu. So let me show you this. I've separated out the place values, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands place. And I went back to the original problem that they had here, the 1,323. And I just wrote 1,323, and I left the ten thousands as zero because there was no ten thousands. What people who are solving these problems quickly in their head are able to do is visualize this in their head, and instead of writing out that whole equation, they're able to quickly go, oh, okay, we had 1,000 more, so I'm just going to change that place value, and I don't even have to worry about these other place values. So now I can quickly get that answer without having to write out a whole lot. Oh, and I need to take away 100? Without changing any of these other digits, I can quickly go and change that. So without having to write something down and without having to go through all the different place values, they just switch, have this little drop-down menu basically in their mind, and are able to change those place values quickly and solve these large digit equations without having to write it all out like this. But if you need to do that for now, you can. Just our goal is to be able to solve these in our head, which is why they're showing you this other way. Okay, now we've got example two. This is a kind of fun, tricky one. Miss Starcher drew a puzzle on the whiteboard. The puzzle contains a pattern. Solve her puzzle by filling in the two blank boxes. Okay, so it tells us here, from here to here, and again, this is just like those drop-down menus. All the numbers are the same except for the thousands place. So if we went from 78,245 to 79,245, 78, 79, you should be saying 80. So we've got 80,000. 245. Only thing that changes, this one was harder because we went up to, from 79 up to 80. So that's why we actually had two place values change. Now this one is slightly different. We've got 80,525. We've got a missing box. We've got 80,545. And if you're looking at those columns of place values, you'll notice everything is the same, the same except for, they give us a clue here, except for the tens place, 80,525. We're going to have 80,000. Five hundred something five. Now hopefully that helps you see 80,525, 80,500 something 5, 80,545, 2, 4, this is going to have to be a 3 in order to make that complete. Each number in the first column, so when we talk about columns we're talking up and down. The columns go this way. These are columns and the rows go across. So if you can remember that, that'll help with these boxes. It's the same with our uh, Google Sheets too. So column, each number in the first column is a thousand more. Oh, I almost made a heart. Then the row above it, so 79,245 plus 1,000 is our 80,245. So that's what's going to go here. I can make a quick note. 
80,245. Each number in the last column, so this column here, is oops, 10 more than the number in the row above it. So 80,245 plus 10 is 80,535. Okay. Now, each number in the last row. So now instead of talking about columns, we're talking about rows, and we're talking about this bottom row here. And if you're looking across 80,245, 80,345, 80,445, and 80,545. What you'll notice is each number in the last row is, it's not the ten thousands, it's not the thousands place, it is the hundreds place that is changing each time. So each in the last row is 100 more than the number before it. So since, let's do a note, 80,245 plus 100 is 80,345, that tells me that the answer for the first column is correct. So it's just, this is just our check, as it says here, check. Because I went down and I got 80,000 was 1,000 more, and it also works for going across the row, that tells me that I got the right answer there. And that's how we use the place values to um, quickly add or subtract these larger numbers. We can just look have our little drop-down menus in our brain and only have to change one column instead of changing the entire number with our addition equation. So hopefully that helps and you can start working to move away from those addition equations, which you can use, but you can start thinking, oh, I have this big number, but I'm only changing one place value. So instead of rewriting that subtraction or addition equation, since it says more than, I'm just going to change that one place, and I can get my answer much quicker that way. It's also going to be really handy when we're filling in these tables. Pay attention here. You're filling in, trying to figure out what is different between this number and this number, and that is the missing number in our box here. Don't forget, if you're running out of time, I want you to get a couple of the word problems in, so don't forget to get to page 70 and try and get some of these problems done. Thank you.